it's me again, Slide Scout, and today I'm going to be doing a reviewing video. So today we are going to be reviewing um, a Slyke from Bayala, well, a Slyke Bayala, sorry, and uh, yeah. So today we are going to be reviewing the Slyke Bayala mermaid with her, well, sea pony. Yeah, so it's pretty simple if you ask me. So yeah, this is who we are gonna be reviewing. So this is the mermaid princess Gabriella on her pony. Well, it's a horse, it's a, I don't know. I don't think it's a sea pony. I think it's like a kelp pony. But um, yes, yeah, she is super, super duper pretty. And I love her detail. And I got her three days ago. I just could not review. Sorry for not posting. I had a couple internet problems. And so, yeah. So I think that first of all, we should probably review the mermaid back here. So I'm just gonna back off my camera a little more. Perfect. So, um, yes, let's review Gabriella. So Gabriella is the mermaid princess. Uh, her actual name is supposed to be Gabriella. Now the, the brush can take off, of course, and it is, you cannot see because, well, I mean, you can, but it's if you have this. So yeah, it is like white and pearly. I think it's really pretty. Of course you can put it back on. And then you can see that she has like a movable hand. The other one does not move. And she has such beautiful hair with this little swirly area up here. Yeah, and like the detail, if you see, see there's like this little shimmery area, super pink shimmery area. And she is so, so beautiful. Um, and you can really see like the detail scales. And there is a magnet back here that attaches to her horse. Um, yeah, and... That is pretty much Princess Gabriella. You can always put the brush back on. And yes, that's pretty much Princess Gabriella. But I just have to say that I do not have the carriage of the sea um, queen and prince, I mean, and, and king. But I have to say that they don't look like Gabriella. They pretty too much look like uh, I don't know it's hard to say but they look different so yeah that was Gabrielle now you are going to be reviewing the sea pony sorry about that that just comes with this and yeah so I am a big fan of honey heart sea and so in one of her videos I saw her reviewing this and well, um, she called this horse Sea Drifter. And I think that this is really such a beautiful name and that it is definitely perfect for her. I could have also called her Kel, but I think that Sea Drifter is definitely the best name for her. So yeah, let's go into detail. So I love that she has these little pearly metallic shoes. And yes, they are absolutely beautiful and very perfect so in here you have this her kelpish like hair with sparkles you can see a couple braids here barely barely and then there's one on the other side i love her cute little muzzle and just the way she looks like it can be funny sometimes um but like if you look at her this way i have to say that it looks a little better because it is pretty cool if you ask me so, yeah, the other side has another braid in here. And, yeah, but I love her tail, I have to say. Like, you can see this little swirly tail. It's super pretty. And, yes, I have to say, it is beautiful, beautiful. And then you have the little um, armor here. And then if you have her, you can see she has this little circle up here, which is the magnet. And you can see some blue waves with definitely the seashell detail that i really love and it is just so beautiful with her little yep yeah, she also has this little sort of coral i don't really know like seashell on her 
And uh, yep, she is definitely an amazing horse. So you can just put your rider, Gabriella, on it. You can really like position her any way you want, pretty much. Sorry about that. Um, like you can put her like this. You can put her like this. You can put her like this. It really doesn't matter, but I prefer it sort of like this because it actually looks like you're riding the pony. And well, I just gotta say that she is really, really beautiful. And I definitely think that it is a horse you should buy. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. But oh, and of course, let's go into these things because yeah, um, I don't know, but the backgrounds come with the C family. And oh, yeah. So, like, you know, there's these little metal places with, um, of course, like, the unicorns and all. It's super pretty. I actually have, like, you know, you can see the rainbow mare, the rainbow stallion, the little elf on her pony. Sorry about that, how I said it. And, you know, you can probably see other characters. Um, but, yeah, I watched the movie. Such a great movie. Then, of course, it says age 5 to 12 and slight by Yala. Now, a lot of people actually might think that the name of the horse or the mermaid is by Yala. Um, but no, actually, her name uh, of the mermaid is Gabriella, of course, like I said. And the horse, you can choose any name you want, really. Um, and yeah, so now let's move on to like these details. You can see like there's these little blue places areas here, like this coral and the background. It's definitely a fun little place and you can add felt paper anywhere around this to make it really detailed it and collect them more. So let's go to the back. So on the back again, it says Slyke and Bayal. And this is pretty much like what it says on every back. But normally on the back, it says this little crystal over here that's supposed to say rare, common, like mystic, anything pretty much. And then you have these little stuff that say the hand can move and the wand can move and well take off. And then, you know, you can take the rider on and back. And then you can, of course, see the beautiful mermaid on her sea pony. I think it's really a kelp pony. Um, and then you have pictures of other sets you can buy and yeah those are supposed to be Gabriella's parents now if you can see closely and if you actually have this seeing you can see that they don't at all look like her so it's pretty weird but yeah and then you have like the little sea pony in the carriage with another mermaid and a mermaid running a little sea unicorn hippo unicorn whatever um and that is the box Wait a second. Oh, and it also says YouTube YYY by Yala Toys. So you can probably check that out if you want. Yeah, but that's enough of that. Like, we have to talk about this mostly because that's what we're reviewing. And yeah. Um, yeah, but you know, a, a couple people that actually have these, like, you know, there are these little medals attached to their feet or hands or anything really and so i decided to actually take those pieces and make a bridal in the metal because it actually matches the um horse and all it does not actually come with it but you can just make it with the metal that comes with her feet and i think that it's pretty pretty cool if you ask me because it does match the saddle pad it does not come with the saddle and then i made a little halter Oh, yeah, and one last thing, pretty much, at least, I think. Well, yeah, we have a little sea pony here, and this is a mini Shetland sea pony. And I think that she's just perfect with her, and they're pretty much like family, and that it's pretty cute together, so I'm making them a family. I know she does not have a family, and she's not supposed to come with one, but I just found them super cute together. So let's move on to the last part, guys. So yeah, I have a funny story today. So yeah, let's begin the funny story. And uh, yeah, so me and my neighbor, we were playing with um, jumping ropes. And when suddenly I see this chipmunk sized gray squirrel entering a birdhouse that we have with baby birds in it. And then I start rushing in 
and then I'm like, oh, oh, what's that? Did you see? And then they're like, oh, no, okay, really, and all. And then I'm just like, ah. Oh. My mom comes rushing in because she doesn't like us to touch the house with baby birds in it, and she goes crazy, crazy with it. And we tell her that there's a little squirrel in there. And then my brother, he knocks, hop, knocks the birdhouse, and then you can see the little pa face of the squirrel knocking out. Then my mom tries to open like the little door and all, and it's stuck. So then she realizes she needs to go get a screwdriver. And so my neighbor's like, Becca, do you know how far they could go? And then, okay, me and all, we, we back up. And then my mom comes back with a screwdriver. She unscrews it. You can see little feet running around and around. And then the door falls out and the squirrel comes jumping in. He, it's like it was so scary to watch it was it was pretty funny and all so that was the funny story for today so uh, yeah that's pretty much it so make sure to like the videos if you cannot like the videos just enjoy the videos and if you cannot subscribe enjoy the videos and also thank you so much for three subscribers already i know it's very funny but yeah so yeah please subscribe guys and yeah if you can't do that you can follow and enjoy the videos and yeah bye guys i hope to see you in my next video